Hey everyone, just before this video starts, I just wanted to let you know that this is from a live stream uh, that I did on my channel a couple of days ago. Uh, so that's why there might be some few out of context points uh, featured in this video, uh, but I hope you understand. I've decided to do this so then if you just want the raw content and you don't need the question and answers section, uh, it's all here for you. Again, uh, please leave a like as it's took me quite a while to edit the raw footage over 40 minutes long. Uh, and also, uh, if you need any help with uh, the featured content, uh, please do uh, visit the Discord server, which is linked below. Also, all the stuff featured in this video is free to use, um, but it took us quite a while to make, so if you would like to donate, use the donations link below. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. Hey everyone, welcome back to another live stream, um, or if you're joining us after, uh, welcome back to another video. So today uh, we're going to be upgrading Proxmox from version 7.4 to version 8. Um, so I've just uh, done a 7.4 installation um, and we're going to upgrade it to version 8 today. So it's pretty easy um, but I thought I'd show you that today. Um, but you can see we're on version 7.4-3 here. Um, I've not given it much resources of course because there's no point um, but yeah the first step is going to repositories and disabling this enterprise uh, repository because a lot of people in the server have had problems with that uh, it's just stupid so if you click disable and then click add okay no subscription and then add again just click reload just as a nice thing then if you go up to updates click refresh okay it's going to do an app get update in the background. Um, once that's done, you can see there's a lot of upgrades here. So, what I'd usually do is go to shell and just do apt get dist upgrade. And then it'll do its thing. Um, so, I'll just wait for that of course. Um, shouldn't take too long. And in that time, I'll load up my uh, comments panel. It will freeze up for you. You won't be able to see it going. Um, but just to know, it's because I'm off that window looking at some of your stuff. So. I'll do the questions later on in the stream. Um, just because... Uh, I want to cut this down to a proper video just for people that uh, just want the video don't want the um, the check or anything the um, Q&A and all that stuff I just want to cut it down for people that just want the content you know um, so it's nearly done and then there's just one simple command from here yeah I'm doing fine thanks um, just had to rush on here this morning um, I had to, uh, got up at 9, um, you know, I had breakfast and stuff, and then I realised, oh, it's 10, so I rushed down here, got set up for the stream, uh, there is background music now, I don't know whether it's working, um, hopefully it's not too loud, let me just double check on here, hold on, yeah, uh, there is, uh, just let me know if it's too loud, uh, I can turn it down, uh, but I hope you like it, it's just some indie music, you know, like just uh, casual music. Um, once this is done, we're sorted and we can get on with uh, with actually upgrading. So this is just a, uh, you should put this into your main practice. Um, it should just be main practice, so you should always keep your packages up to date on any Linux distribution or on any operating system, in fact, like Windows Update. You might hate it, but it's there to protect you, so just keep everything up to date. So the next command is PVE728. Then it'll just do it. It's going to do that. Um, what you do? Dash dash four. Should do it. Um, where is it? I don't think it's done it yet. Anyway, it's upgraded the version, but it's no good yet. 
Anyway, once we've done that, I think um, we could do another rack get up there. And then, it says all packages are up to date, just do another dist after we've done that. And then, if we look at the PvE version, we should still be on 7. Yeah. Um, but then we need to add the uh, enterprise repositories for Bookworm. So, just do that. Uh, remember, after this stream ends, there will be in the description. I've not put a blog together today. Uh, but this is the enterprise repository. So, um, we'll have to remove that in a minute. But I'm just going to copy all these commands in. And then, at the end of the stream, I'll just... Um, get it done right hold on um, making sure that that enterprise repository is not doing me adding again it is yeah it is new it's just not a new kernel it's just a um, Sorry, not a new kernel. I mean, it's not a newer version. It's just some basic updates. It seems like it's done it now. So if I do at get upgrade, sorry, at get dist upgrade. There we go. It's going to start the bulk update now. Um, 4:30 a.m. It's now 5:38. It's pretty cool that. Um, different time zones. What time is it for you Jeff? Um, it'd be cool to know. I'm trying to get it um, a nice time for all time zones and it's really hard to because I know that most people aren't from the UK like it's 10.41 here uh, in the morning. Um, I'm just trying to get it a nice um, time zone. Are you still on the old version? Yeah you know it works fine. I've just updated my main one to uh, 8.0.3. Um, I did that through risk. As soon as it came out, me and Tor uh, jumped straight on the bandwagon and just got through. Is it the same time though then? 4.41. It's alright. So I'm just going to do the normal keyboard layout. Just enter three again now you can just watch the other stream um, that works great but it needs the kernel 5 to work properly um, and I have to run kernel 6 because I've got an AMD GPU uh, otherwise you get the retail got zero bytes um, so you have to uh, sort of I'll try and get it working on kernel 6 and stuff um, but I've got a couple of projects coming big projects for this channel um, so I'll try and work around that anyway all we need to do now you can do reboot in the shell you just click reboot here and then we'll wait for it to reboot and then we should be on version 8 just like that we have a refresh here you can see we're on kernel 8 now uh, sorry version 8 so brilliant um, that's it really so thanks him for so much for watching this video, uh, if you did enjoy it please leave a like uh, and consider subscribing as we're obviously near 4000 subscribers now. Also if you need any help with this video uh, please do visit the discord server and create a help post through the help channel. Um, again I will mention the donations as this is all free content um, unlike what other YouTubers do. Um, so if you would like to appreciate our work. Uh, that we do as a hobby, uh, please do consider donating from the donations link below. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, goodbye.